Also happening now, cleanup is underway in Taney County after heavy rain flooded homes, businesses, and campgrounds. One business in Hollister is discovering how much they lost and what it would take to rebuild. We have Cutter 10's Bethany French live for us this morning. She spoke to the owner of that business with more on the cleanup efforts here. Yeah, Jesse, that's right. Behind me, you can see that there is a crane currently helping with the cleanup efforts here. And as much as the damage you can see with trucks and trailers that are here, the owner tells me that there is even more that they haven't found yet. And that's what today is going to be filled with, is just looking to see what all has been lost. There's a lot of equipment lost, there's a lot of stuff lost, but no one got hurt. But, but beyond that, as we're looking through, you know, a good example, there's a generator over there in the lake right now. I didn't even know I lost my generator. I looked over there, I seen it floating, and I was like, oh, that one's getting... So th it's going to be one of those over the next several months where I'm going to be looking for something in my shop, and it's, it's going to be gone. Gabe Rabidou owns a business in a row near Turkey Creek. Rabidou says his, businesses, his business has been here for about five years. He says it only took 20 minutes for the water to rise waist deep in his building. He says that there are multiple businesses here all in a row, and they're like family, all trying to help each other out. I think everyone's just trying to keep a good spirit, you know, where we're, we're all yesterday was a little rough around here. Today we're all just solution mode, try to get it solved. Now you can see that those cleanup efforts are going to continue throughout the day and Rabidou tells me that although it may take a while, he is planning to rebuild and open up and keep working with his business as soon as possible. Reporting live in Hollister, Bethany French, Color 10 News.